Hey you guys, today we're going to talk about building the IKEA Millsbo cabinet. I've recruited along Monica to help me out. Hi guys. And we're going to discuss why we chose this cabinet over other IKEA cabinets and what's the main purpose of trapping this humidity and what we're trying to obtain in having a greenhouse cabinet. So we actually chose this corner to put the mills boat in. It's super important to try and remember where your electrical outlets are. So we have one kind of over here. So I'll have to run an extension cord over to this corner. We also have a window here so that will provide really good light. All right, so the instructions were actually in the second big box, but hopefully we're gonna explain this in a simple enough manner to where you don't really have to read these. Hopefully we do it right. So the kit does come with the Allen key, but you're gonna need a screwdriver and a pair of scissors probably helps and also a level. So in the first small box, it looks like these are all the glass shelves. This is one of the most common modifications to the IKEA cabinet is to get rid of these glass shelves and put like a wire rack so that your water can drain through after you water your plants. And remember step one when you open up your box is to make sure all your panels are not broken. It looks like all of our glass is good because this was shipped. But the first step is going to be to have these four legs and the key is that there's two different ones. This is super important we almost missed this. So there's essentially a bug looking one I call it like this one and that's this piece that will be the front and then there's a straight kind of line looking one and this will be the back the way the instructions kind of lays it out is what's facing towards you is actually the back it's kind of confusing yeah so step one will be to put in the little leveler for the feet so that you can level the cabinet at the end once it's all built so just screw these in by hand and we'll adjust them later so as we said we're on step one we're putting together the feet but then we're gonna go on and put together the base of the unit where we have the four legs and the cross members. So these are the crossbars. You have two longer ones up top and then two shorter ones on the back. Make sure your holes go on the inside of the legs, kind of towards the inside of the cabinet. So this will be the front. Now we're gonna use a short screw that came with the kit. It came with longer Allen key screws, but we're gonna use the short one right now. There's a bunch of these short ones. So you're gonna have three of these panel looking guys and this one is gonna be the base. You know it's gonna be the base because it has these attachments which are going to sit right on top of this guy. Next, this one's going to drop into it and this guy without much of the holes are going to be the top. These instructions are Dog not shit. at all useful. All right, so these instructions are actually pretty useless. So I'm glad we're putting together this video and we're making the mistakes now. So we are going to put two screws on each side, even though there are three holes. At this step, we only put the two side screws, leaving one empty, one open hole in the middle. Filling these two, but leave this back one open, I assume, for the pole to go vertically. So the front ones, we only put one on the inside. <laughs> this one. is why Monica builds the IKEA stuff in our house. So the key thing to see this overhang is the front. And what Monica was saying is this is where that singular screw goes, not in the side hole, but over here on the inside and then on the inside over here. So next we are going to put the vertical holes. They are all the same, but there is a base. And then there's a top with a pointy part. So the base is at the bottom. And that's why we didn't put in that third screw, right? And for this, we are going to use the long screws. There's four of them. Next is going to be the second base. So this bar goes to the bottom. Ah, like that. Boom. So it's kind of like just like a cover. So the double base falls in without needing to screw any, anything on top. So this is the part that's going to go down and we're going to stick this right into that kind of cover plate in the base. Now I'm going to use one of these Phillips heads to screw in the back to hold up that kind of shelf bar that's going to hold all the shelves in place. So this is the top part and we have this, this where the doors connect to be oriented towards the front. So it's going to orient just like this. So one Phillips at the back. Now we're back to the short Allen and we're going to drop them in in the four corners. So here's another key step. Don't sink these screws in at the top all the way down like that. Leave a little wiggle room. We're guessing so you can put in the glass shelves without sort of any issue. So you're gonna put the top side of the glass in first. So the thing is very much like Ikea standard build quality. I can already see where all the gaps are gonna be in terms of weather stripping and trapping humidity. But that's gonna be the fun part is all the additions and changes we're gonna to make to this cabinet to kind of bring it up to like grow room standards. So once the glass is standing, then you put those little hooks 
three of them, uh, kind of like the top, the middle, and the bottom. You're gonna use this short Phillips, not the longer one. Don't use this one to secure on the shelf brackets. Next will be the side panels, and then we'll do the second one. Maybe get a helper to kind of hold, help you hold in the top against that weather stripping, and then you push in. So again, a couple of the little shelf brackets. I kind of, I guess, in the corner, the instructions are very vague, so. So it looks like here's the last glass panel. We're gonna do the same thing. And it kind of just slides right into place. All right, so next up is putting the latch into the door. So this latch is gonna take those longer Phillips head screwdrivers, and that latching bottom part is gonna go towards the bottom of the door. And then this latching piece will go towards the top. So now we're gonna drop in these little pieces that go into the door hinge and kind of act as a bit of an axis that the doors could swing on. So this latch makes this the left-hand door. So as I said, drop this hole down on this pin, and there's another simple way to differentiate. The right-hand panel has your key, as well as obviously the door handle going to the inside of the door. So I'm first gonna set it down on the pin, and this is the door with the internal latch. And up top, this pin just drops right in and that holds in your door. The instructions actually show this part kind of best. Okay, what else is left is a couple earthquake secures to kind of hold it to the wall. We're not gonna do that now. Thanks you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you did enjoy the video or learned something new, please click the like button down below. And if you wanna come back for more videos every Saturday about houseplant things, click subscribe and we'll see you next Saturday. Bye guys. Yo.